The first of 10 fire alarms was turned in just before 6 a.m. Less than an hour later, 250 firefighters and 80 pieces of equipment were either on the scene or on the way. All six stories of the Baltimore landmark were engulfed in flames. First I heard an explosion and I went to my window because I'm on the top floor and I just saw the flames shooting in the air. The first firefighting units on the scene reported only the third floor initially involved, but in a matter of minutes, flames extended above the roof line. The south wall of Hochul's collapsed, brick and mortar tumbling down onto four firefighters and a brand new hook and ladder. Two of the four were hospitalized, both in stable condition. About the only injuries reported. The monstrous fire quickly reduced the 80-year-old building to a charred shell, with only its Howard Street facade still standing. The fire destroyed what was to be the centerpiece of a $250 million Howard Street restoration project. Hoshul Cohn was going to be this, an atrium, shops and offices in the heart of a new market center developed by the Murdoch Company. The exterior, I was just saying that we had worked so long and so hard to preserve the exterior of those buildings. We had worked with historic people and it cost a lot of money, extra money, to keep the walls. They had to build around the walls, but we had made a determination years ago we were going to keep those walls and the exterior of that building. And now in one fire it's gone. It's, uh, there's, there won't be any way to keep those walls. They'll have to come down. Officially, the Hoshul Cone fire is being listed as suspicious, but fire department investigators suspect it was arson. As they sift through the rubble and talk to witnesses, investigators will try and determine a cause.